What's going on, my eaters? It's your boy, Chef Drew, a.k.a. Chef, a.k.a. Big Drew, a.k.a. We making sandwiches today, y'all. But before we get into these sandwiches, please make sure you like, subscribe, do all the things so that we can keep bringing you this content. Let's go. So my eaters, when I was thinking about this week's episode, I was like, what are we going to talk about? I really did not know. And then all of a sudden I remembered a couple months ago, me and some neighbors of mine were having a conversation on their back porch and we were talking about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. To me, probably the most prolific of all sandwiches in the history of man, everybody and their mama can know or relate in some way, shape or form to a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You know, if you broke and poor, or hood and ghetto, you know about peanut butter and jelly. If you're rich and affluent and generationally wealthy, you know about peanut butter and jelly. And anywhere in the middle, you know about peanut butter and jelly. So we were having this conversation on the back deck a couple months ago. Everybody's talking about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And I had a question. I'm like, hey, have you guys ever stepped your peanut butter and jelly game up just a little bit and grilled the sandwich? And they were like, theaters and headlights, looking at me like I had no idea what I was talking about. I, on the other hand, was absolutely shocked that nobody in this group of adults that I was sitting with had ever thought about grilling their peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So today on the Eating Chambers channel, we are gonna grill a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So right here, I got some wheat bread. You use the bread of your choice. Well, we had some wheat loaf bread at the house, so that's what I'm using. I got a little bit of butter some peanut butter here, and some jelly. What we got here? This is seedless blackberry preserves. You use whatever jelly you want. And then as far as peanut butter goes, in my house, we no longer use peanut butter because we have nut allergies in my house, but I did have some contraband peanut butter hidden in the back of the pantry somewhere, so I brought some of that. But if you can't use nuts or you can't use peanut butter, we use sunflower butter, and there's all sorts of other alternatives too. We like sunflower butter, it's the most realistic. When At this point when I eat it, I don't necessarily miss the peanut butter too, too much. If you don't like peanuts either and you can have nuts, there's almond butter, there's cashew butter. There's all sorts of ways you can go with this. For today's purposes, we're gonna just go with the chunky peanut butter, blackberry preserves, and we're gonna take it from there. So I'm gonna load up my, uh, my bread with the jelly and the peanut butter. So me, for my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, y'all, I'm that guy, I like a good amount of peanut butter. If I have my choices, I would use chunky peanut butter because I'm all about the texture. But you know, you do what floats your boat. We have the peanut butter here. Oh, I'm making a mess. So we have the peanut butter here. You want nice, for me, liberal portions of peanut butter. Coat everything to the edges. I don't like dry bread. So coat everything to the edges. We have some, like I said, blackberry preserves. So I'm a more peanut butter than jelly guy. Joe was telling me he doesn't like jelly. He's a peanut butter guy. Peanut butter and honey is good. Peanut butter and honey and bananas is good. This works for all of that. So jelly to the edges, all the way across. So once this jelly is the way it needs to be, I'm gonna keep the bread separate right now. And I'm gonna turn on the pan and start heating the pan up. All right, y'all, I have my pan here. It's been heating up a little bit. I took it off the flame a little bit so it didn't get too hot. There's a little bit of oil in there. All I wanna do now before I put the sandwich in there, take a little bit of butter and drop in the pan because who doesn't like a buttery toasted sandwich? So we put a little bit of butter in there. There is a method to the madness. I put the oil in the pan before the butter because oil can withstand a higher temperature of heat and it helps prevent the butter from burning. Butter is melting, pan is coated. At this point, put your, put your sandwich in. First the jelly, then the peanut butter. So we have the, the both pieces, parts of the sandwich in the pan. We're gonna let those toast, and then when they're done and it looks beautiful and, they're gold, and, the, and the sandwich is put together in golden brown, we'll take it off the pan and plate it. Until then, make sure you like, subscribe, do all the things so we can keep bringing you this content on the Eating Chambers channel. Thank you. All right, guys, that quick, that simple, that easy. 
We've toasted the sandwich off. We've gotten it put back together. It got a tiny bit darker than I would have otherwise liked. But listen, this little crisp on it ain't nothing. A little bit of milk can't solve. You know what I'm saying? And y'all, if you've never had a toasted peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you could put more butter on it if you want. You could put some powdered sugar on it if you want. I've had somebody drizzle some chocolate syrup on it. I'm not judging them. Whatever you want. And that's your toasted peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Let me take a bite because I'm going to do that. Everything that is big boy inside of me is jumping right now because of this sandwich. So if you haven't done it before, please go find you some peanut butter and jelly and toast it. I promise you. It'll change your life. Make sure you have a beverage on hand, though. Let me tell you. I know I'm joking. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are probably the most prolific sandwich in the history of the world. Everybody, like I said, has had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But as I was thinking about these sandwiches, obviously, you know, everything we do, we're thinking about business. We're thinking about entrepreneurship. We're thinking about um, bootstrapping and, 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 and building out of, out of the mud. And one thing came to mind. Every one of us has had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's what they give you in school, in elementary school. It's what your mom and dad give you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Everyone has had it. Nothing wrong with them. But just like a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich in business, it's okay to operate and things just be going and going and going, status quo, the way they've always been. And you know, a lot of people operate their businesses like that and it's fine and they're okay with it. But y'all, have you ever thought to just stop and ask yourself, what simple thing, what next little thing can I do to take my mediocre to great? In this case, it was a pan, a little bit of heat, and some butter and some oil that took this staple sandwich from the household name that we all know to a sandwich that's out of this world. Think about that, guys, as you're, as you're walking this road of entrepreneurship, as you're walking this road of bootstrapping, Maybe the answer is to do something a little bit different. Most often it is. Ask yourself that question continuously so that your business can grow, so your, your business can flourish. It can literally be as simple as buying another piece of equipment or hiring one more person, even part time, or going to another territory or area. You'll never know unless you think about these things and try. Y'all, thank you so much for being with us this episode. Please, please, please make sure so that we can keep bringing you this content to like, subscribe, and do all the things. Remember, we're here to do three things, educate you, excite you, and empower you into the business and the future that you want for yourself. Until next time, guys, we are gone.